Hello friends! Welcome to a new happy learning video. Do you know that although the Earth is a sphere, very different things happen at the top and bottom of it? Well, let's find out some more because today we're going to learn about the equator and the hemispheres. Equator is an imaginary line that divides the Earth horizontally, right down the middle, as if we were splitting it in two. Everything from the equator upwards is in the northern hemisphere, and its furthest point is the North Pole, where these polar bears live. Everything down on the other side is the Southern Hemisphere, which goes all the way down to the South Pole. And that's where these penguins live. The Northern Hemisphere and the Southern Hemisphere are exactly the same size. But they have many differences. Above all, the most eye-catching thing is that when it's summer in the Northern Hemisphere, it's winter in the Southern Hemisphere. Do you know why this is the case? It's very easy. Check this out. If we observe the Earth, we realize that its axis, the imaginary vertical line that crosses from pole to pole, is not straight. It's tilted. That means that when the Earth revolves around the Sun, there is a part that is closer to it and warmer. And that's why it's summer there. In this case, the Northern Hemisphere. Meanwhile, the other half, the Southern Hemisphere, is colder, so there, it's winter. And when the Earth rotates and reaches the other side, it's the other way around. That explains that while it's warm in Argentina and its people cool off in the river or in the sea, in Spain it's cold and there are children making snowmen. Another important difference we can observe is that most of the continents are in the Northern Hemisphere. Do you see? Europe, North America, almost all of Asia, a good part of Africa, and a little bit of South America are in the Northern Hemisphere. And therefore, we can say that many more people live in the Northern Hemisphere. The Southern Hemisphere is emptier. It contains Antarctica, Southern Asia, a bit of Africa, Oceania, most of South America, and lots and lots of water. But there are more surprising, super fun things that make the two hemispheres different. For example, the moon. When the moon is in its crescent phase in the northern hemisphere, it can be seen shaped like a D. Well, in the Southern Hemisphere, it's shaped like a C. It's more or less in reverse. If we think about it, it's logical, really. <laughs> the Coriolis force is another extremely curious phenomenon. Isn't it such a strange <laughs> word? The Coriolis force is a physical phenomenon that, due to the Earth's rotational movement, makes whirlpools. Those that are produced in rivers rotate in reverse in the different hemispheres. In the northern hemisphere, they always turn to the right. And in the southern hemisphere, they always turn to the left. Curious, isn't it? You can check this by doing an experiment. If you fill a sink with water and remove the plug, observe which way the swell forms when the water goes down the drain. That way, you will be able to tell which hemisphere you live in. It's always good to check that everything they tell us is true, don't you think? Goodbye, friends. See you in the next video. Search us and subscribe to Happy Learning's YouTube channel.